Hey guys, Brian here from uh, stogiereview.com, of course, uh, IPCPR 2013, here with the legendary Jonathan Drew. How you doing, Jonathan? I'm doing pretty good, man. Pretty I, good? I don't know about legendary yet, but... Uh, I, I think so. A couple I think more so. years and we're going to get it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's new with uh, Drew Estate, man? Uh, well, thanks for asking, brother. We got some really good stuff this year. It's a big, big transition year for us, and... Uh, the thing that, that I think is going to be the biggest splash is what we've been working on with the Kentucky Fire Cure. And this is a product which, you know, we've been getting it out there. It's been getting some, some press in terms of what we're doing with this new segment. The reason that I really like the Kentucky Fire Cure for Drew Estate is that when you think about Drew Estate, you think about our, our ethos as a company, who we are, what we do. People say, well, what do you do, a uh, business guy? Are you guys... Um, you make cigars and you sell cigars, bottom line. And we say, no, we do rebirth of cigars. And then these days, you know, to, to be so stuck on your original vision and to still be able to stick to your original vision, it's very difficult because there's a lot of opportunities pulling at you in different ways. So sometimes you go a little bit out of your zone. You try and pull it back in with certain things that make you feel like home. Yeah. But with Kentucky Fire Cured, what I really like about the product is that it really is and fits the mantra or the ethos of Drew Estate. Rebirth of cigars, whether it was acid, ambrosia, natural, the coffee-infused segment as in its totality as a segment. You're talking about a pretty large segment, T52. These are products that really brought a lot of innovation to the industry. So with the Kentucky Fire Cured, I'm personally very proud of the product because... Not only is it a nice product, because there's so many great cigars out there these days that are Drew Estate or not Drew Estate, there's so many good ones. Not just to say, how are we going to differentiate ourselves, but really coming up with something that has a purpose, something that you feel, you know, you've been working on for years. Yeah. The Kentucky Fire Cure fits our ethos. The Dark Fire Cure tobacco, taking the Dark Fire Cure tobacco and being able to manipulate the tobacco in a way to get it to burn correctly, so you're not having tobacco with construction issues. When you're smoking Kentucky Fire, any of the Dark Fire Cured, whether it's Dark Fire Cured from Kentucky, Virginia, Brazil, Italy, all the, all the Dark Fire Cured tobacco has certain qualities to it that's consistent with from country to country. How you blend that tobacco is going to be what defines this segment. Because what we're doing here with the Kentucky Fire Cured is we're building a segment for the industry. It's not just something that it's a new brand with a cool name, with a good taste, with a good... There's so many ways when you think about it in terms of marketing a product, but creating a segment, there really has to be a real purpose for it. And it's the kind of thing that with the Kentucky Fire Cure, it feels right, it feels good, and on top of that, it feels like home. So I like it as part of what Drew Estate is about. I see it there on the evolution tree. Yeah. You know, when we drop Kahlua, when we drop Java, when we drop Natural, when we drop Acid, when we drop T52, across the board, K Kentucky Fire Cure fits within that mantra of that innovative stance with the tobacco, and that's that's what I'm I'm super excited about. Secondly, we have the project here that's in your hand, which this is like you know the the uh, Nica Rustica. This is like one of these products that is going to be a show surprise item in, for us. Again, when I talk about uh, our business, I'm not, I'm not comparing our uh, Drew Estate with other companies. It doesn't serve me to do that or serve anybody else. So I'm talking about in our world of what we do, this is a real surprise item because at $6.95 for a 6x52, you're saying, well, why are you offering this product? We have Ligas all in the, in the, it's in the super premium area. We have the premium segment covered. We also have Voya, which is in the premium segment as well. So we're not, looking just to put product after new product if the stores are already inundated from other tobacco manufacturers who come out with a lot of new products that's his style at true estate we don't do that think about it even in all the new products that we're talking about there's only four sizes yeah you got three sizes in kentucky fire cured and then you got the one size in the nicarostica so even though it's two brands it's a very limited amount of shelf space that we're going to be asking a retailer to believe in us and take you know take us on with so on the nicarostica the thing about this product that's unbelievable is this. We're able to keep this product down at the $6.95 price because it's a byproduct of all of these heavy hitting brands that we got. Yeah. When you think about Liga Pravada, 
We used to sell all the Seiko and the Viso to other manufacturers in Nicaragua. So we were using for the number nine, just a heavy broadleaf wrapper. So we're selling all that material, recouping some money, but you're still losing out at the end of the day. So a couple of years ago, Nicholas, Steve, myself, Rubio, we decided as a team, we were gonna start to pile up the tobacco and use it at a future date, but we didn't have a home for all that broadleaf. Just the Liga 9 broadleaf, which is that real thick, Lijero broadleaf wrapper. So when you're thinking about broadleaf wrapper, you're just breaking it into three. Lijero, Aviso, and Aseco. That's all that matters. So, beautiful thing about the Ferro Flying Pig is that's the first time that in the Liga Provada line that we used a broadleaf tobacco of a medium, which means medium thickness, and, and it's been a successful launch. That Ferro Flying Pig FFP is hot because, you know, you're using the broadleaf for that chewy, rich, big taste, but then you got the right blend with the strength and the earth from the Nicaraguan side on the filler. So with this product on the Nico Rustica, we, again, we're using that same broadleaf mediums that we use in the uh, Ferro Flying Pig. We're not trying to recreate Ferro Flying Pig. The cigar tastes nothing like it, but it has that natural, chewy aroma that the broadleaf is going to have, period. So uh, um, this product is, for us, like I said, man, it's going to be the sleeper. It only comes in one size. It, that's it. T, uh, t, it only comes in the uh, in the um, six by fifty two size, clean machine, and uh, you know the packaging on it. You know, people who are real cigar smokers, they're not going to smoke packaging. Let's face it, right? But there's a romance to our industry that is beautiful, and people, when you're smoking a cigar, it's like when you're eating cereal in the morning. You're looking at that box. You're yeah. reading the damn box a hundred times. You've read it already. You're still looking at the damn box because you're involved with it. Smoking is a million times that. You know, when you're enjoying your premium cigars and you're thinking of all of the romance that goes hand in hand with premium cigars, the historical perspective, the cultural perspective, nostalgia, yeah. the nostalgia of it. You know, so this is a, is a great product. I'm excited about it. Nicholas, Joey, uh, Pedro, the brand is beautiful because it has a beautiful purpose. Nica Rustica is the tribute product for Drew Estate towards Esteli Nicaragua. This is how Drew Estate pays its tribute towards Esteli Nicaragua. It's the brand that we say, you know, Drew Estate has always been very pro-Nicaragua. We know that, right? Yeah. That would be a joke not to, to, but we've never illustrated it in a product where we said, let's do a product that's gonna honor Esteli. Not so much the tr tr cigar guys of Esteli, not so much the tobacco makers of Esteli, but just Esteli in general, because let's face it, Drew Estate, Pepin, Padron, Perdomo, Hoya de Nicaragua, all of us owe a great debt to Nicaragua and to Esteli especially. So the community has given us this opportunity. For us to do a tribute product back with it, it's great. It just feels good. You know, Pedro's been instrumental on it in terms of the El Brujito the whole way. We're bringing the product out. So it's exciting. And uh, it comes in a uh, in the double. In the, when you open that, open it up. Yeah, sure. If you could, it's an empty one now because they've been snagging all of them. But <laughs> if you turn around the other side of it, the top comes off, and then over oh, here you got go. all the brujito information. It's just a, it's also a pretty piece of packaging. I mean, it is really nice. So it's nice that I'm not doing all this shit for Drew Estate these days. You know what I'm saying? that I'm able to kind of, like you guys, yeah. I'm able to enjoy it from a perspective of a fan and, and it's enjoy it from a perspective of part of the movement of what we do, which, you know, we're part of the whole premium cigar movement. Of the, it's a cultural movement. It's a subculture. It has become a subculture. It's crazy. You go on a plane, you got your Drew Estate backpack on, and you're walking through the airport, and dudes are coming over. Hey, I smoked those cigars. Yo, are you JD? You know, sometimes they know who you are, sometimes they don't. But either way, you're walking through with that backpack. Hola, Jesenia. You're walking through with that backpack, and you got that big Drew Estate patch on there, and Liga Provada and Acid, and dudes are like, that, those are the cigars, right? You're like, yeah. So we know that we're making progress, continuing to cultivate the industry, being part of that. The other guys who, you know, some of the brands I mentioned before, we're very Nicaragua-centric. We're very proud of Nicaragua. And uh, what you guys are doing from a media side, I know that's not, you're, you're not here to discuss the, the new media side, but we're a big supporter of it. And we feel, you know, for us to be involved in what you guys do, we're always trying to be involved with Stogie Review across the board because it's tight. You guys got a tight game. And uh, what else could I tell you? Well, I, 
on, on that topic, I meant to thank you earlier for this for sponsoring our coverage of this show. We really appreciate it. Oh, you make, you make a lot of this possible for no, us. And every, a, you know, everybody, everybody benefits from it. You know? It's we a really huge opportunity it. for us to be part of what you're doing. Think about it. We're a company who, as we made our first five, six years of a splash into the industry, we were the acid guys or we were the flavor guys. It was very, very hard for us to, to show people what, what the heart of the company is about not even just premium cigars. I mean, we're a tobacco company. Drew Estate Tobacco Company is the name, to who we are and what we are. And with our vision, it was important to be recognized as a premium cigar manufacturer who's buying a certain quality of leaf. I mean, Agua Norsa, this must be our seventh, eighth, ninth year as their second biggest customer in the world. You know, it's talking Agua Norsa tobacco. This is, this is incredible tobacco, ASP tobacco. We're one of their largest customers. Oliva tobacco, Oliva Tampa. We're one of their largest customers. The base of what you do is your tobacco and your employees. Everything else is fun, is the marketing, the camaraderie, the beauty of the industry, the packaging, the romance. But at the end of the day, if you're not buying tobacco from farms that are producing quality every single year, you have nothing. Yeah. So we've been privileged across the board, man, and, and uh, it's exciting. And um, we're thrilled to be part of the new media community. We support it. So us being part of what you guys are doing is a, is a no-brainer because it just it fits with everything that we're about. It's quality work what you guys are doing. There's a lot of blogs out there. There's a lot of new media out there. Some of them are very, very, uh, some of them are very fra fragmented in what mm -hmm. they do, and some of them really have it right. And then there's the guys who have had it right for a long time. So you guys just continue to impress. So we're glad to be part of, you know, the standard. You know, what I'm saying it's a gold yeah. standard. I appreciate that. That's, that's no, very man. Flattering. You guys, you guys did it. I mean, you don't need to appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> What else? We got a couple of other things worth mentioning too. Uh, you guys probably spent a little time with Hoya in Nicaragua already, we did. Yeah. so you know about the new, uh, the big size that they just released, the bull, the, the big bull. bull. Yeah, the big bull. Yeah. yeah. Then we got a big size on acid. We got a six by seventy on the acid side. A six by sixty. We got a six by sixty on the acid. Uh, the Cuba Grande, which uh, third biggest selling size this year from what I've been reading has been after Toro and Robusto has been a 60 ring gauge cigar that's I'm hearing I'm hearing a lot of 60 you know 60 60 60 I'm starting to hear 70 too yeah but but not in terms of real volume units 60 ring is probably at this point you know when you think of a Robusto you're not just thinking of 50 ring or 52 whether it's 50 52 54 there's a lot of area ground yeah. in there. And when you're thinking about a Toro, either a 50 or a 52, yeah. even up to a 54 or more in the 52 category, there's a lot of ground there. So the 60 ring, it may not be as exact ring gauge, but in that large format size, yeah. there's a lot of dudes who want to smoke that cigar right now in terms of that size. So if you're able to take, you know, take your time and make a blend that's quality that you can be proud of, it's worth entering that segment. And a lot of guys like that 60 ring. So I think that, that Cuba Grande is going to be is going to be right on the money, and I think that the uh, the big bull on the white and Nicaragua yeah. side is going to be right on the money. Then we also in the in the blondie uh, in the blondie size, we're going to have uh, four new SKUs or three new SKUs. Is it three or four? Four, four. new ones. Yeah. So maybe on your way when you guys are walking past over there, if you grab the camera and just take a quick quick sure. a quick shot of it because. You'd be surprised how many closet acid guys you guys got out there. Yeah. You know, on the um, the guys who smoke the full-bodied sticks, a lot of them are admittedly Java or Tobacco Special guys. But you'd be surprised how many dudes are are, are smoking a Kubo or a Blondie who you may not have expected to. Yeah. Especially they can smoke it at home. You know what our number one uh, our number one email that we receive from uh, consumers is. No, what's that? Acid is the only cigar that my wife lets me smoke in the house. That doesn't surprise me. It's got chick power. <laughs> chick power? <laughs> yeah. Am I wrong? No, no, man. The acid's got chick power, and Java's got that chick power. It's like, it's, first of all, you get a lot of, what is that? What are you smoking? And then secondly, we were in Japan, and we were smoking in Japan in bars, because you could smoke anywhere with it. And we would come to the bar, right? Yep. We would come to the bar with like 20, 30 packs of, in, the, in the G Fresh pack. 
And people will come out, hey, what are you smoking? What are you smoking? What are you? In all sorts of languages. All <laughs> sorts of languages. And we're cutting in Latin. Chicks were going crazy and they liked it when, you know, they, 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 it's a very social product. So check out the new blondies and stuff if you're into that stuff. And if you're not, give it a try. You may be surprised. And that's it. All we can say yeah, is the, thank you. The new, the new Muat size, yeah. I mean, it's not out, but oh yeah, new good one? catch, yeah. good catch on that one. On the uh, the surprise for us two years ago was the My Uzi Ways Ton Four yeah. line. Now Kentucky Fire Cured falls into the Muat umbrella. Okay. That's going to be when you think of Muat, it's going to be a three segment umbrella. The Muat brand overall is going to have one piece, which is the core line My Uzi Ways Ton which is theoretically the larger engaged sizes and a couple of little special sizes, bait fish. That's what we consider, I call it the core line of Muat. Then this year is part two, which is the Kentucky Fire Cured. This is the first three sizes of the Kentucky Fire Cured. So there'll be more then? Well, there's a reason. These okay. three sizes, you got a four by 46, you got the five by 56, and you got the six by 52, just a friend. Those core sizes, right? those sizes of the Kentucky Fire Cured, those have a certain blend to them. Halfway through the year, I hope that we have, maybe by the end of the year, by the end of 2014 or yeah. somewhere around there, you can see I know the date really good. Uh, <laughs> at some point, we'll bring out the next piece of Kentucky Fire Cured, which uh, is, going to be, is going to be real interesting. That one, that's going to be called uh, Straight Kentucky. Straight Kentucky. Kentucky Straight. Kentucky Straight. Yeah, with an eight in there. So Open don't eight. be stealing our name, whoever's out there plotting. Bravo. So we know who you are. Right? Oh, yeah. Word. <laughs> nah, don't be talking shit. We know who you are. Straight Kentucky's taken. So don't even think about it. Yeah, first use. Yeah, first use right here on Stokey Review. It's been yeah. used. It's been used? Yeah. It's an, it's an My use. dad's got one in his pocket. It's in production and in sales. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sell one to Jose Blanco right over there. Yeah. <laughs> How we doing, Jose? Good. So uh, the seven by seventy in the core line. Okay. Big fat stick. Dudes are into it. Uh, you know whether it's your thing or not, or, or whatever. You can't deny people from what they want. So. No, well, people want what they want. Sell yeah. them what they want. People right? want what yeah. they want. Mm -hmm. Sell them what they want if you can do it well. Yeah. If you can do it well. We did this one pretty good, man. I think the seven by seventy is going to be a nice addition to the to the Muat line. It also fits in the in the the. What my Uzi Ways ton was all about, yeah. it fits with it. So it was a it was a logical extension. Other than that, uh, uh, we got a lot of good friends here at the show, a lot of good um, customers, a lot of good media, and it looks like the whole IPCPR show. There's a lot of great new products being released by a lot of the companies. It's good to see everybody having banner years, and I think that the industry is maturing, and I think that people are really uh, obtaining great quality tobacco. And Nicaragua's on fucking fire. Nicaragua has, it's I don't want to say it's taken over because it's great tobacco. You know, Drew Estate, we're the number one importer of leaf into Nicaragua. Brazil, Mexico, Honduras, Dominican Republic, Peru, um, Africa, Ecuador, all this shit, Connecticut, Sumatra, all sorts of leaf coming into Drew Estate. So there's great leaf being made all over the place, but Nicaragua's got the touch. It's got some great leaf. It's, got it's some, no denying. It's got no some denying. great leaf. Some of the best in the world. If not the best. Some of the best, if not the best. I think, you know, I think it's... I think you think it's the best, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being diplomatic here. No, you got to be diplomatic. Yeah. That's what it's all about. They, that, you know, that's what it's all about. It's about, it's about what you like, smoke yeah. what you like. And for a lot of years, man, people were always like, oh, you know, is that guy... Uh, uh, a guy who smokes acid or a guy who smokes tobacco, Java, and now I see it in people's rotation because change is not good if it's done for no reason. Change is not good if, it, if the end goal that you're shooting for is a diabolical reason or something that doesn't add. But, you know, I think that, that the changes we've seen in the industry since we've been around, since 1996 and then 98 when I moved to Nicaragua and Marv and all the guys, Solucci came on board and everything, we... The changes that we've been part of, I think it's been good for the industry as a whole. So I'm proud of the whole segment and proud of what everybody's doing. And we're definitely blessed to have this opportunity. So for all the people who, uh, who you know, uh, 
enjoy our brands and enjoy what we do. You guys know Drew States, you know, that, that it means a lot to us. We're, we're regular people who have been blessed with this opportunity and, and you know, I think that, that, I think the whole company is very, it's very well grounded and very well appreciative of the opportunity we've been given. So, very happy right now, to be honest with you. Good, good. Well, thank you so much, sir. Dude, you guys are the best, man. Um, thank you so much for taking all this time. And uh, who's ever still watching, if you're still watching it, you just won one million dollars. Stokey review. If you, okay, half a million. All right, signing out. Thank you guys very much. God Thanks. bless everybody. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you, Jerry. No problem. All right, good deal.